Good morning. We just ordered orange juice and a croissant at a at a patisserie, and I did not record it because it was the croissant was so good. I just devoured it. I ordered completely in French and oh, motorcycle. I ordered completely in French, and the woman in the patisserie complimented me on my French. So at least ordering um, breakfast goods, I, I, I sound fluent, so that's exciting. I'm in no way fluent. On a moving walkway in the metro, we're on our way to Chateau de Versailles. Going to see where Marie Antoinette lived. We went the wrong direction, um, but we're here now. I just bought my ticket to Trianon. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I'm excited to around the corner and see what there is to see. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna cry. Wait till you see the actual place. I think it's funny how they all lived in there. They had apartments in it. So, they had all these people living in there with the king and queen. Their own city. I'd feel really embarrassed if we didn't find this. <laughs> it's huge. Obviously, I mean, it's a palace. This all started when I saw the Marie Antoinette movie by Sofia Coppola. And I just became enamored with and just sort of hypnotized by, by that movie and Marie Antoinette. So just very recent, that was years ago, but recently I finally, I've just sort of been drawn to Marie Antoinette for some reason. So I read the book that Sofia Coppola based her movie on and I just was intrigued even more um, by her life and the things she had to go through. And, and, and now I'm here. I'm here and I'm, <laughs> you can probably hear me. I'm a bit, I'm a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> Happily overwhelmed. Wait for you to visit? No, they just keep coming. Oh, oh flip phone. Messy. Cool. Joanne's going to take a picture, but we can all be. Do you want to look at me or not? Yes. Oh, we can't eat till they take pictures. Well, I guess she took it. She took a picture. I'm eating pizza at Versailles. He added the olives after he saw them for sharing it. Hmm. I thought they were on there. Yeah, I thought there was a bunch of stuff really? on there. Oh. <laughs> I think he took some more. <laughs> There's an olive pepperoni conspiracy. On that we first came to that pepperoni. And... <laughs> no, really, I thought it said it was loaded. No, a margarita is just cheese and sauce and basil. And Ooh, two, it's good. And you want some hot piz? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I bet it's short for hot pizza. Do you think it's 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 made just for pizza and that's why it's spelled P I Z Z. Yeah, it's hot oil. It's just for pizza. Oh. Yeah. Well I recorded it. I recorded it. I'm gonna do a cartwheel in Versailles. Oh Stay here, uncle. Is that on video? <laughs> My uncle just broke Versailles. Just the peasants are going to revolt. Or are you a revolting peasant? I don't know. 
Okay. Cartwheel. Thank you. I don't think we can touch it. It's really far down. Well, is somebody going to come and yell at me if I took my shoe off and put my foot in the water? What if we just... What are they going to do? I'm taking my shoe off in a minute. I know it's not the same water Marie Antoinette touched, but don't you think maybe she did this too? Touched the water oh, in her fountain? Oh, look at the babies! Look at it! Look at the babies! The baby duck! According to 23andMe, I share a haplo group with Marie Antoinette. She doesn't have any direct descendants, but, and I don't really know how to explain what a haplo group is, but when you do 23andMe, they, they, they point out which famous people might you be, you know, be related to. And her name came up, which I thought was kind of neat. We're walking to Petit Trianon, Marie Antoinette's getaway. We don't know what sort of adventure we're embarking on or how far away it is. We are on the Versailles grounds. We know we had to go down to the lake and turn right. And when we got there, there were places to rent bikes and rent carts, so now we're a little worried. It's really a far walk. We'll see. It's very hot today. I would say almost 90 degrees, and we're still walking to Petit Triana. And there's a sorbet stand. So we got sorbet. This is blueberry and delicious. How is your lemon? Mm. Is it delicious? Mm -hmm. But we're almost there. You can have. I mean, you can have some if yeah. you want. Yeah. This estate is so large. Oh, I and we are on the French countryside, which I'm very, very happy about. Let's go look at a field. Yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous out here. Whoever thought to plant all these trees ages ago, merci beaucoup. It is a hot day, but it is gorgeous in the shade. Look at how cute it is. Her little getaway in the woods. I know it's not little, but <laughs> down the wrong pipe. This little dump. Don't you <laughs> don't you want one? Oh, I love these trees. Like that one right Ooh, there. what do you do you know what it is? No, but I can't find Definitely would want to do that. Look at the little crowns on the gate. Oh I'm in love. We're in Petit Triana. I saw this picture in the book I read. Her insignia. Did you see the M and the A? Oh my gosh. Her curtains are pink.
out here. How old do you think that tree is? Oh, look at that tree. Look how old. Now that could be. That must be an old one, right? I wonder if Marie oh, it does. sat by this one. Let's see. There's a sign. There's a sign. Oh my gosh. She was planted in 1774. Oh, she probably planted it or had it planted. A Japanese pagoda tree. That's awesome. That's pretty darn exciting. It's a very poofy plant here um, at Petite Trianon, and I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong every time. It reminds me of Marie Antoinette's hair. <laughs> Don't you think? Ça va pas la sous la souler la photo. And there's little sand paths all around. But it's very hot, so I don't know if I'll do that. Seeking some coolness in the shade here. I'm holding this at a very awkward angle too, so hold on a minute. going to her little farm. This is about a five or ten minute walk from her little house. So she had some farm animals out here. She would drink milk and things like that and have her own eggs.
keep seeing things I want to take pictures of, but uh, I mean the pictures just don't even do any justice. Everything's so grand and sprawling. I'm going to go peek in the windows of Versailles. We didn't get tickets to the big palace. I only wanted to see her little house. And I'm glad because that has taken up a lot of time. But we can peek in the window. I can see the front gate through here too. Never thought I would be a peeping Tom at Versailles. <laughs> Peep at, oh, peep at that. <laughs> Ooh la la. Goodbye, Versailles. I had fun. I'm a little jealous because my mom took a plum. There was a plum tree back there and she took one and ate it and said it was delicious. I don't know what I was thinking, not trying it too, but I bought a tea, little single bag of tea um, made with apple from her farm on her estate, so I'm glad I got that anyway. Au revoir, Versailles. It was so good. Did it Courtney seem like over. I took a while? I mean, yeah, put three forks in there, went out on the I'm deck. I'm sitting and there and the I light goes out. Eating it right out of the so I'm just like, I think, oh, it's a motion center. The light went out when I was in the bathroom. Ah. Pitch dark. And I thought, oh, it must be a motion center. So you jumped around? So I'm sitting there going, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and it doesn't work. So I'm just like, Ah, I have a flashlight on my iPod, but I, it took me a long time to think, what do I do? So I find, because I thought somebody, I thought the light switch was outside of the bathroom, and I thought Which somebody must, somebody must have gone by and accidentally hit it, so oh. just like, so for a while I thought, oh, there's nothing I can do, I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> And then I flailed, and then I remembered I had my flashlight, and then I saw the the light. But you have to be quick. It goes out fast. I had to switch it twice. I'm thinking maybe we should go so, looking for you. <laughs> that's why. I wasn't, your first impulse. Well, and then I forgot to lock the door, too. So I thought, oh, God, I better lock this real quick so no one walks in on me. And then I go to wash my hands, and I spray water. It was a comedy of errors. I'm in the grocery store, a grocery store, looking at cereal that I've never seen before. They have kid-themed mustard. And I wish we had this in the state. I would eat a lot of this. Tomato soup with noodles. Mr. Clean, en français, is Mr. Proper. Harpy. Oh, Harpic. Yeah.
we got here just a little bit too late to buy a ticket to the top. Um, tickets are sold up to 45 minutes before the arc closes, so it must be coming up on closing time. So, but that's okay. I was, I wasn't even expecting to come here, so this is fun. couldn't get over last time, I guess. Is that our ride for the rib? Yeah. We're just watching cars go around the Arc de Triomphe. It's quite exciting. We've seen so many near misses. Oh, look at that guy turning around. Whoa! That was out of focus, but I hope you heard me. Here comes another batch. Woo! Whoa, he's zooming. Oh my god. There are people slamming on their brakes. There's people, I mean, barely merging. They're crossing perpendicular to each other. There are no lanes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just have to say this on camera that we're seeing paper butterflies, but in en Francais, it's uh, papier, papier, papillon, papi, papier, papi, pa uh, papillon. There it is. Yeah. Papier, pa papillon. God, that's a French tongue twister. Papier, papillon. It's a tongue twister only if you've been drinking in the Hemingway bar. Papier, papillon. Ha <laughs> ha. We just spent way too much money on one martini. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Hoo. You paid for the rose. If our bill was a color, it would be this color. <laughs> okay. well, there's your uh, brown glasses. We've oh, seen a couple of guys that go down today. Papier Papillon. Give it a try. Papier Papillon. You got it. This is like the night we got our check at the, um... Oh, I know. Um... <laughs> oh, shit. <No>. Meredith! Meredith! <laughs> Meredith! Oh. oh! With the round table. With the round table. I know. Oh, this is bad. This is what a $30 cocktail looks like. Not pretty. Anyway, that was like our first really big check in New York. $64 bill. And, you know, when you get that kind of bill after you've been drinking, you laugh. Yeah, it starts with an A. Does it start with an A? No. We're not leaving. Algonquin! A. Oh my god. We're at the Ritz. This better be a good bathroom. Ooh!
I wonder if they charge for the night for these, because I'll just sleep here tonight. <gasps> Look at wow. the faucet! Hey. Oh dear. I think this bathroom might be more secure than my apartment. This is the way it should be. <laughs> this is us after thirty dollar drinks. We're ninety dollars worth of women. <laughs> I think you should report that. I bet someone stole it. Somebody thought that you turned the water on by flipping the wing. Maybe she stopped at McDonald's. It was not us. Right. Wow, you really, that drink really did get to you. My mom wants McDonald's on the way home. Oh dear. Can't find my uncle, but there's a Willy Wonka tube here. I think Richie took the Willy Wonka tube out the glass ceiling. Is there a glass ceiling? It's a Willy Wonka tube. Oh my gosh. That's not a glass ceiling, Gordon. It has a bottomless pit. <laughs> I'm going to stop recording now. Let's go there. We may be forced to have to go back to the Ritz and spend the night. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Oh, we must have taken a wrong turn. It's 1.15 a.m. Hold up. Ooh, let's see if this is open. Okay, we're taking a We're lost. The metros are closed. Uh. Whoops. It is a walking city. <laughs> It's 2 a.m. in Paris. Oh, we should probably be quiet. Can we follow those kids? Those kids probably know where pizza is. It's 2 a.m. in Paris, but it's only it's only 7 p.m. in Minneapolis. Right. This is this is a very small elevator, but it's our own Versailles Hall of Mirrors, right? Full of, it is full of humanity. Oh. Please don't close that sicily in the moon. Let's do a quick room tour, shall we? I can't make it more than quick because it's so tiny. driver felt bad that he didn't speak very much English so when I heard that I said I said let me pull it up here I said je ne parle pas bien français and that made him really happy so and then I made sure to say bon nuit when we got out of the cab and merci beaucoup of course so um Speaking mm -hmm. French here has been surprisingly very easy. They can always tell I'm not French. I'm not expecting that. But it definitely seems to um, pay off to make the effort to say something in French. Then they seem a little more sympathetic. And so far everybody has been able to say at least a little bit of English too. So it's been, it's been easy. I need to know what time it is in Minnesota. <laughs> it is 7.41 p.m. In the meanwhile, it is... It's almost 3 a.m. here, so I'm going to mm -hmm. say probably mm -hmm. not good night, but good morning. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sleep.